Are you looking for a solution to rid you of slow, tedious, manual processing of documents and accelerate digital transformation in your company? Automation document processing is an AI-powered, low-code tool for building applications that can easily be integrated into your workflows. How does it work? At design time, analysts train a machine learning model to recognize the type of data you need to extract and process. Then they build applications by using predefined templates. Those apps are deployed to Navigator, where documents are processed. If all goes well, great. Documents are automatically classified and the metadata is extracted for use by other applications. But if some data falls below the confidence level set at design time, business users can access the documents and correct them. This human-in-the-loop validation ensures better quality and transparency of your extracted data. There are two types of predefined applications, single and batch, which classify document types and extract data. Single applications extract field values from single documents. Batch applications extract fields from batches of documents. The documents in a batch are related and they need to be processed together. For example, they might have been scanned together or be part of the same email attachment. Let's see how you use a single application. In IBM Navigator, open your application and upload your document. Here, it's an invoice. There are some data extraction issues, so you need to review the document and fix the issues. Check that the document type is correct. If not, you can change the doc type. You can filter the kind of issues you're reviewing. Anything flagged as an error has to be fixed. The severity is set at design time. In the vendor phone number field, we expect only numbers. You can highlight the right value on the document to populate the field or type in the number to correct manually. The payment due date field includes a string when we're expecting a date format. The system will suggest other dates based on similar fields in the document. Then the shipping amount field. At design time, we added a validation field for extra security, so amounts that are too large would be flagged. Since this value seems correct, we'll dismiss the warning. Submit your document to validate and finalize the data. Now, let's have a look at the batch application. Here, we'll create a batch. You can give it a description, set the priority, or other useful information for your team. After you submit, the app processes your documents. It happens in two steps. First, it classifies the documents. If the status turns to document issues, it means there has been a problem when selecting the type for one or more documents. You can correct that by opening document type and page order issues. Select your batch and choose the correct type among the list. Sometimes a document has been scanned with pages in the wrong order or contains different document types, for example. Here, you can rearrange your document, cut pages you don't need, rotate them, etc. You can also adjust the brightness, zoom in and out, among other readability features. In the next step, data is extracted from the fields that are defined in your model. Again, if errors occur, you can open the document and easily correct the missing or incorrect values. This part is the same as the single application. From there, you can verify the next document or click Done. When you're ready, submit the batch. Your data is validated and finalized. After finalization, the documents are updated with their definitive document types and properties in the content repository where they're stored. In the end, your extracted data is high quality, structured, and ready for use in other applications like workflow, decisions, or RPA to accelerate your business processes. With automation document processing, you can finally reclaim your time for more productive activities, make more informed decisions, and eliminate manual errors. To learn more about what you can do with automation document processing, see the IBM documentation.